Oh, welcome to a new episode of Bottom Sup. I'm Fab Mike, your self-proclaimed beverage champion, and with me, as last week, my buddy Carswell. And today we're going to run to the hills and we try the Iron Maiden's Trooper beer. Roll the intro! Well, Tell us about this. Unlike the last beer we had, uh, this one actually has English writing on it, so uh, actually tell us the story of the trooper. Uh, onward, onward rode the 600, the charge of the Light Brigade, which inspired the Iron Maiden song The Trooper, took place at the Battle of Balaclava, 1854, during the Crimean War, during, when 600 British cavalry courageously charged the massed Russian artillery. This gallant but foolhardy, foolhardy assault resulted in a massive loss of life and came about due to a misunderstanding of an order given by commanding officer Lord Raglan. Neat. Nice. And, well, I guess the only thing I have to say is, unlike the last one, this is not a strong beer, and it's not a limited edition, but it's only got a 4.7 alcohol volume, unlike the 6.6 .6 of the last one. So let's pop the top, and we'll give this one a try. You pour it. Well, okay, rock, paper, scissors. That's what I thought. <laughs> uh, can you move that cup? Thank you. I can at least tell you pour it. It's weird not being in the middle of the table. But I really like doing it. Well, I don't know. That's what she said. <laughs> Just get a measure in there. There you go. It's the worst part of the show. It's pretty much even. Hey. Uh. So, because Steve's my guest, I'm mean, gonna let Steve answer a couple of things. So, what do you think of how it looks? Oh, well, you know. It's more, uh, I'd say, more gold than an amber. It's, uh, it's a little darker than the other one, but yeah. not as much. No, no. Uh, smell smell test. test again. I don't know, I, I prefer the, uh, the smell of the other one. I do too. This one has kind of a funky smell to it. Yeah, yeah. Not a bad smell, but... No, but it's not as inviting as the last yeah, one. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, should I do the taste test? The, uh... We don't just sit around and smell beers. We're going to do the taste test. <laughs> the all-important. Well, that one goes... Down oh yeah, that, one, that one's like water. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Actually, and there's no big aftertaste like the last one. No, not one. really at all. Like yeah. it's a mild aftertaste. Yeah. Probably. But, probably but again, it's a, it's just a normal beer, not a stronger beer like the other one, so. I actually like, I don't like the smell of this one, but I actually like the taste of this one. Like, well, it, it is, it's a more mild taste, right? It's it kind of seems like a party beer. Yeah. One that you can just down and have yeah. a good night. Yeah. Yeah, that aftertaste isn't bad. Not bad. I thought it would be bad because of the smell. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I thought too. <laughs> just like a fine woman. <laughs> Dead giveaway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so would you recommend this? Oh yeah, I, I enjoyed this one just as much. As, well, yeah, just as much as I enjoyed the first one. Both both a recommendation by me. 
I enjoy them both. I kind of enjoy this one a bit more. Not by much. Probably about this much if we're going to count it in <laughs> But I do like this one. Can't go wrong with either one. If you don't like a strong beer, stick to this one. If you don't mind a strong beer, you're better off going with the 666 or trying both. This one's also in English. This one's also in English, and they're a hell of a collector's item, because off-screen, I've got two that you can't see that are going to sit in my shelf. So if you're an Iron Maiden fan, pick yourself up a couple, couple of keepsakes, a couple to drink. Drink them, keep the bottle. Yeah, that too. You don't have to be like me. Not have to collect everything. <laughs> Anyways, want to wrap this up? Absolutely. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't because you don't like our ugly mugs on your screen, you're allowed to give it a thumbs down. You don't have to like everything on YouTube. You can follow Your Beverage Champion on Instagram and Twitter. And until next time, thanks for watching. Cheers. Do you want to do the intro? <laughs> you, you do it. It's your show. Mm -hmm. I was never supposed to be just my show. It's Fat Mike. Oh, welcome to a new episode of Bottom Up. Today, oh, fuck, I screwed that up already. Oh, welcome to a new episode of Bottom Up. I'm Fat Mike, your self-proclaimed beverage champion, and with me, as last week, my buddy Carswell. And we're, oh, fuck, I screwed that up. I'll just cut it out. And today, we're going to run to the hills and we take a look at the Trooper beer. One more time with the Trooper beer. And today, we're going to run to the hills and we try the Trooper beer. I don't like that. The Iron Maiden Trooper beer? Iron Maiden's Trooper beer. Okay. And today, we're going to run to the hills and we try the Iron Maiden's Trooper beer. Roll the intro! I forgot all about that. Do you want to do it again? The roll the intro? Yeah. Hey, let Steve do it. I'd rather Steve do it because it's always me. Roll the intro!